Hello everybody and welcome back to a bit of eFootball as I move my mic around, microphone around on screen as we start the video. But yes, right, we are shopping today for new players, new under-24s, because we have a lot of GP to spend and I'm sort of thinking we're eventually going to set up another squad where there'll be older players, maybe just players I enjoy and I like to like in life and things like that, or maybe a meta squad, but... At the moment, I'm sort of thinking, oh, I really think an, a fully under-24 team would be the way to go. And that would mean getting rid of Forlan and Beckham. And we already were in the discussions about left-wingers. Uh, I haven't bought one yet. We'll get into that in a minute. We're probably going to buy one today because we've got quite a lot of GP. And there's some people I've had my eye on. So the only other thing is that we've bought in LaCroix, uh, another centre-back, because I always feel like having... You want your centre-backs to be on form, right? And if these two are down, then I'd like two options to bring in another one. And LaCroix comes in with plenty of pace, good heading ability, good jumping ability, good tackling, good physical contact. He's basically already better than Ben, God ben, God ben Godfrey, but is uh, a little bit lower in overall rating. But he's basically now our third choice, and Ben Godfrey is now our fourth choice. But yeah, so that's why you'll see I've dropped... Beckham and Forland from our starting 11 and this is how we're looking at the moment so I think yeah we we go and see if we can buy another striker maybe uh, a right winger that can compete with Saar and we just really focus on going under 24s only full on so let's go and have a look see who we can bring in and we'll go and uh, have a look at some of the options you've been suggesting as well so we'll see what's out there so one of the guys we've got a thing called a nominating contract which i'm quite excited about and i'm looking at jay marshall rutty who is a canadian in the mls and i think uh, for toronto i'm going to guess trt is uh, a prolific winger playing at right back really good offensive awareness ball control dribbling tight possession speed is it phenomenal i'm sort of thinking he could rival diego delo and dodo for a place in our team um he doesn't suit the out wide system but we could give him four bonus points I, i'm not sure if you can even upgrade these players i'll have to wait and see but for a yeah i mean he's got great hair as well look at that hair it's fantastic but 17 years old uh, yeah, level, no, level, he doesn't have a level, which means you can't upgrade him. So he's never going to have good team chemistry unless we change to quick counter, which I don't want to do because it pushes your high line up too much. But his speed and offensive awareness is absolutely incredible. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Not, not, We're not going to bring you in just yet, but let me know down below for, uh, for the future. If you want to know, these are the other ones we've got as well. So um, these are from the MLS. It ends in 28 days. I think we have to use the nominating contract we've got on either one of these. I'm tempted by Chicharito, obviously. Um, he's probably the main one I'm looking at, Chicharito. Uh, uh, or we've got someone from the J League as well. So if you know any of these guys that you think may suit, let me know in the comments below. Or if you've been using them and you know there's one that could be quite useful, let me know down below. That would be very helpful. Thank you. So we have 169,800 GP, and I'm very tempted... To, uh, to sort of keep it on a bit of a football manager wonder kid sort of idea. So, someone I'm potentially looking at is uh, Di Ketelaria, who again, doesn't suit out wide, but we can get that going. He's so versatile. Up front, centre mid, attacking mid, left wing, left mid, second striker, right mid, right wing, left back, he can play. C form isn't the best, but at 20 years old, he's got some really good attributes there. 43 levels of progression. I think if you went and looked at and basically put all of his improvement points into passing, ball control and defence, I think you're going to get a bit of a beast. His height at 185 isn't huge, but uh, he is only 18,000 GP, so I think it could be quite a good one to invest in. There is another one from uh, Club Bruges as well, which is uh, Lang, the roaming flank, left wing, right wing, centre mid, uh, attacking mid. Again, 41 levels of progression, 22 years old, so would get the boost. Out wide would need a bit of boosting again, but pretty quick. Dribbling in tight possession is really good. Finishing is good. Just improve his passing and then get as much as you can as maybe his finishing and pace. I think he's going to be a decent one as well. So two options there from Club Bruges that we'll, we'll maybe come back to. We'll see. 
Also for around 18,000 is a Blitzer Eze, who I just love, and I'm impressed he's going to be so much fun to play with. Look at all those player skills that he's got. It's absolutely ridiculous. Ball control, dribbling, seems so crucial in this game. I really think Eze might be the one, but he's got some stiff competition, as we'll go and see now. So for a bit more money, Martinelli, 74 rated at 20 years old. Ball control, dribbling, tight possession. He's quicker than Eze. Again, doesn't suit out wide. Left wing, left midfield. His rating is an E, though. 45 levels of improvement. So he could become a real beast. But that E form really does put me off. And, yeah, I'm not sure. Martinelli, maybe. Maybe. Recommended in the comments was Jeremy Doku. At right wing forward, left wing forward. Again, absolutely rapid. Really good dribbling. Wouldn't suit out wide. The maximum. We could boost him to a 97 with four improvement points in it, which would be, which would be handy. I'm quite keen for him. Double touch, flip flap, chop turn, solo, soul control, heel trick. I mean, he would be very, very useful to have. Form is standard. I'd like that to be unwavering and a bit higher. But uh, yeah, Doku is very high up on the list because I just know he could be really good. Imagine plowing lots of points into offensive awareness, more dribbling and passing. And I think you've got one hell of a player. So yeah, it's very interesting to see that with Doku. Or we go with loads of our GP points for 100,000 and get Sancho, who is probably the best young left winger in the game. He is absolutely phenomenal. Look at that dribbling. He's got a bit of pace behind him. He suits out wide formation, so it won't need many points going into that. I mean, it would just be brilliant. Just plow points into offensive awareness. Um, even a little bit of finishing, but get that dribbling and pace. Just keep that ticking over. And oh, I think it could be really, really good. I'm really tempted by Sancho, but it's a lot of coins. And he can play on the right as well, which would be really handy. I don't know. I'm going to have to make my mind up in a minute, though, because we're, we, we've got to get some gameplay in this episode. I actually just found this guy as well. Francisco Conceição. Left-footed right midfielder, right wing forward. Ball control, dribbling, and tight possessions are really good. He's got a bit of pace about them. 52 out wide means only four points, and that makes him 92. Uh, he's got double touch, Marseille turn, cut behind, soul control, first time shot, through passing, outside curl, against and super sub. Like, he could be really good. He's only 6,500. I sort of feel like that's a bit of a bargain. I'm going for 6,500. That's our first signing brought in, Francisco Conceição. I just thought I would look at Porto and Sporting, and I saw Porto came across that guy, and I was like, "Yeah, let's bring him in." He's not going to be—he's not going to be a first team. He'll compete with Saar and people like that. But I feel like, uh, yeah, we've, we may have found a bit of a bargain there. I tell you what, Portugal might be the place to go. Pedro Porro, 22 years old, ball control, dribbling, and lofted pass is great. Speed is good. He's got sort of all-round team play style. Long-range shooting through pass, penalty, especially man-marking, interception. Unwavering form as well. Can play right back, right mid, right wing forward, centre mid if you need him to. 38 levels of progression. 22 years old. Plays for a good team in Portugal. I'm quite tempted just to have him as an option. Porting, sporting are going to win games, right, before the end of the season, which means his form should go up. Let me know. What do you think about Pedro Porro? Let me know in the comments below. All right, I'm signing Eze. I'm signing Eze. Left mid, left wing forward, striker, attacking mid, centre mid, set like right mid if we want him to. I, I know he's just fun, right? He, he, when you watch him play, he's got a great, great big smile on your face. So for 18,000, Eze's coming in. And yeah, I, I'm very, very happy with that. And I am going to go and make one more wing signing. And then we're going to go and look at strikers, which is always fun isn't it to go and look at strikers and the other one we're going to go for is doku i just think that pace is that pace and dribbling is going to be brilliant for us especially the way i play and the fact he's got lots of skills as well i feel like uh, yeah he's going to be a fantastic signing so jeremy doku for seventeen thousand is in as well which means i've pretty much ruled out sancho which is interesting now they've been having loads of events well not loads of events i've completed all the events that they've uh, they've had on and one of them was real madrid and Vinicius Jr. is by far the most fun player I've played with so far in this game. I didn't mean to come out of that. So I'm just going to... And I haven't looked to see how much he is. I assume he's going to be 
quite expensive. But uh, we will go through and have a look, and then we will get on to strikers, I promise you. Madrid Charamatin, which I'm pretty sure means white in Spanish. And let's go and have a look at Vinicius Jr. So ben oh, Benzema was fantastic as well up front. Uh, Benzema, Casemiro, Courtois, they're at 260,000 GP. Okay, I was quite a long way off getting him anyway, but yeah, he is absolutely superb. 21. Look at that. Scissor feint, double touch, flip flap, sombrero, soul control, rising shot, acrobatic finish, heel trick, through passing, gamesmanship, and unwavering form. Wow. Yeah, he, was, he was ridiculously good to play with. So much fun. So much fun. Right, let's. I'll go see if I can find a striker. And I think what we're going to go with is Darwin Nunes. A rated at the moment, so he should be in pretty good form, which is what we need to compete with Vlahovic. Finishing, heading, he's tall, he's got speed, he looks everything you need, right? Double touch, heading, long range curler, long range shooting, dipping shot, first time shot, super sub, fighting spirit. I think he's going to be absolutely class. 29,000, absolute no brainer. Let's get him in the van. We are putting together a pretty good under-24 team here. It's, uh, it's or 23 and under, I guess you should call it, really. Yeah, it's looking good. Let's go and have a quick check then to see if there's any other places we feel like we could strengthen with those coins. I'm not, I'm not saying we have to spend all of our GP uh, right now in this buying episode and seeing what we're doing. But, yeah, I feel like we're doing really well. Maybe another central midfielder to maybe improve on Lukonga. As well, but we'll uh, we'll wait and see. So uh, let's go into reserves. There is Darwin Nunes, and he will come on for Forlan in the reserves. Don't worry, we will see Beckham and Forlan again on the channel. That is a that's a no brainer. Um, let's put him in there. So if we go into form, so is there anyone that we've just bought who has? Uh, so Doku, Conte, Sao, and Souza are all on C as well. And then we've got Lacroix, who can play only centre back. Godfrey is left back and centre back, so it gives us a bit more versatility. Diego Delo at right back, who we could. Oh, I'm just wondering. See, Vasharan might not be needed now in this for in this team while he's on C form, because I just feel like Doku gives us a little bit more of an option. And we're gonna. It's all gonna be rotated anyway, because I want to. I want to get improvement points for all of these people. So I think for now, we'll probably go with that. Do you, yeah, you get a massive boost if you play up there. So I think what we're actually going to change to is... Um, oh, I didn't want to come out. Apologies. Go into Gavi, make him a DMF, which he can't do as well. But in theory, then, if we bought in a replacement for maybe Lakonga. I'm just thinking that might be a little bit more solid in the 4-2-1-3 four, well, four, formation or a 4. Yeah, I just sort of, uh, I liked having the balance of having a right midfielder. Mm. Uh, we'll leave it like that for now. It should give us a, a few more options, to be honest. But yeah, interesting, interesting. Let's go and see if there's a holding midfielder. I've got someone in mind and I've seen a few people using him. In other, uh, in other streams and, and videos that I've been watching. So uh, let's go and see how much he is. Uh, did I just go into... I went into the wrong thing. I wanted to go into contracts, not my team. Now, it's quite a big outlay. But Ryan Gravenberch could be our man. Ball control, tight possession, low passing is great. Tackling, aggression is great. He's tall, so he's going to win headers. Physical contact, stamina is decent. Kicking power... I think we improve his jumping and his heading ability. Don't worry about his attacking stats. Just make him an all-out holding midfielder. 19 years old. He's got 47 points for progression. Double touch, first time shot, one touch passing. I think, yeah, it's going to be a big outlay. 39,000. But Ryan Gravenberch is coming in. If we're going to play those two holding midfielders, we can mix it up and move one of them into central midfield if we need to. But I think Gravenberch just gives us that little bit more defensive solidarity and that i think is going to be us done for our purchasing episode basically uh, for the while for, for a while anyway for a while let's get into game plan and we'll put make sure he's in i think it does mean laconga is probably going to miss out there is graven birch uh we'll put him on yeah because gavi's so good i think he'll just come straight in and laconga at the moment laconga will miss out now obviously as four, I think he's on B form. 
He's on B form. That's what makes this so irritating. Do you know what? I think I might drop Saar. I think. I think Saar's going to be dropped for Lukonga. Because that B form is just its crucial. It's crucial to give us more up arrows. Yeah, because even as on a D, that's why we need to have both the centre backs there. Can you not? Yeah, you can only play right back. You yeah, you can play centre back. Sorry, centre back, left back, maybe right back. Lukonga can't play in defence. Gavi can't play in defence. Diego Dillo can play right back or left back, and at the moment is in B form. Okay, we'll go with that. We'll go with that for for a game. Let's dive into some gameplay, and uh, we'll be right back. So as you can see, we're currently in Division 6. It's been going pretty well, actually. Uh, it's a lot easier to play when you're not commentating. But we do already have three points in Division 6. We need two more wins for a promotion to Division 5 to get nine points. Um, we need one more win to keep us in the division, and we've only played one game. So, yeah, let's... Um Crack on in, see if we can find a game. Okay, we have an opponent. I got us. Wow, he's going to have a really good squad, I think. Just going to make sure I'm not about to run over my dog. No, nope, I wasn't running over my dog, so it was good. Got to get into the gaming position, haven't you? I'm forward and leaning in. Uh, let's go and check out his team. It's collective strength of 2,500, uh, sorry, of something. And he's... Uh, I'll tell you what, I love this third kit for Andalect. And Arnie, I know you're watching this. If there's a way you can potentially maybe get me an Andalek kit and get it sent to Singapore and I'll reimburse you. I could be all over that because I do like them and I have been there. So it can be added to my shirt collection. Right, let's go and see what sort of arrows we've got going on. Okay, Lafont is up. Martinez is okay. Dodo's pretty up. Gomez is up. Camavinga's up. Gravenberch, not so much. Doko, not so much. Elanga, Musiala looking good and Ibanez on a down. In the subs, then, we do have Nunez is going to be starting this first game. It's going to be an interesting one. And, um, well, I guess we're going to start Eze on the right. Now, it's a little bit annoying that I dropped Saar, isn't it? But let's go. Do you, yeah, yeah I see you want to be a central midfielder. Can you play? Okay, actually, I've had a nightmare here because neither of them actually want to play as a left midfielder. Neither, I've got loads of people that like playing left wing. Oh no, this is uh this is a nightmare. Right, we might have to mix it up a bit then. You might be a central midfielder just sort of lopsided out there. I didn't want to press that. And who else have we got that's in form on here? So Laconga is in form, he'll come in for Graven Birch, will, I'm sure will come off the bench. Uh, Diego Delo can stay there. Gavi's okay. Let's bring in LaCroix for his pace and his heading instead of Ben Godfrey. And his team is Abamyang, Vlahovic, Mason Mount, De Bruyne, Zachariah, Barrios, Azpilicueta, Campbell, Rudiger, Kimpembe, and Oliver Kahn. That looks like he's playing some sort of meta cheat formation. So uh, let's see how we're going to get on. Uh, individual instructions on attack we'll have. Uh, where's Lukonga on defensive? On anchoring we'll give that to Nunes so that he stays more central. Defensively counter target will be uh, Elanga. That's not a problem. And we won't have uh, another one there. Team play style is fine. Let's let's crack on into this and see how Darwin Nunes gets on and see how we play against this very strong, very strange 4 2 2 2 2 2 all through the middle. It'll be very interesting. It's not even a Ralph Ragnick 4 2 2. It's not even got two attacking midfielders out wide. It's just all through the middle. So, um, well, hopefully us playing out wide will actually give us quite a bit of space. But let's see how this goes. Is it Sione versus Allegri in terms of management? And hopefully it will be a highlights package. Hopefully it will be coming back for lots of our goals and not his. But there we go. Nunes gets his first touch as a CLF United player. And, uh, yeah, we're going to try and see if we can use these wings as Eze's, uh, well, first involvement in the team is to, to give the ball away, and he's uh, nothing. Now, obviously, we, I'm probably expecting to lose this game. So we're going to be a bit patient and try and keep the ball. Okay, I've lost the ball. I've not kept the ball very well at all, and Martinez didn't get that one power shot. We've got a block on it with LaCroix, who I think has got the number nine shirt. I'm going to sort that out. So, uh, yeah, a very, very poor giveaway there. He's he's marking the space well. He's, he's doing all right here. He's probably got all the meta, to be honest, as uh, Beckham puts that one in. Good punch away by Lafont. Oh yeah, we need to sign a backup goalkeeper really. Is that? That's a great cross from Beckham. You've got to be wary of those. We don't have that anymore in our arsenal, but we'll take the goal kick. 
Yeah, it's annoying. Our best players are probably through the middle, and we're going to struggle to get them uh, into the game, to be honest, because of his very narrow formation. As Sergio Gomez can flick that one into Camavinga. Let's go for a big switch of play from Lacroix. That's maybe what we need to utilise a little bit more. Dodo, Camavinga. Uh, Laconga, sorry, into Camavinga. Looking for that movement of Nunes into Musiala. That's nice. Musiala tries to give it back to Nunes. Can go out wide to Ilanga. Ilanga looks to dink a ball in towards Musiala with a header. It's not on target, but it's a good move. And if we're patient, we'll get some chances here, I think. Darwin Nunes picks up the pass from Laconga. Musiala. Eze. Who's a, yeah, we're not going to get the best out of Eze playing him as a centre mid, but we'll see how it goes. Camavinga, Musiala, Laconga. Camavinga. Oh, is that going to get through? It is. Darwin Nunes can pick that one up. Musiaya. Great ball out to Dodo on the overlap. Dodo oh, couldn't quite put the cross and I went for a stunning cross. Probably shouldn't have done. I probably should have kept it a little bit simple. As a well done Laconga on his defensive duties. Dodo wins that as well. And that's oh, nearly got through to, to Darwin Nunes. Abamiang. Oh no, we could be in trouble here because Lissandro Martinez is quick. But he's not as quick as Abamiang, but that's offside. Abamyang into Vlahovic. Trying to get it back to Abamyang into Vlahovic again. He's going for those one twos and it's not working for him at the moment. We're, we're actually against a strong team like this. We're defending really well. 25 minutes gone. And uh, again, I think this is a sort of game that if it's a if it's a draw at the end of it, I probably won't be too disappointed. Well done, Alanga. Kamavinga. Lakonga can just sort of toe poke it out towards Dodo. He's got Eze. Up the line. As a just trying to... Oh, yeah. He's, he's putting pressure on. But there is then spaces available. Oh, as Palaqueta just about covered that one as De Bruyne goes in towards Vlahovic. Oh, no. I missed the challenge. And Vlahovic is going to have a free run at goal. Vlahovic is... Oh, he's, he has missed. I was going to say he doesn't miss those. Wow. His Vlahovic might be out of form then because that was a terrible finish. Dodo down the line to, to Eze. Good. Uh, uh, yeah, Eze is... Is he's feeling good on the ball? I feel like he's he's going to be lacking. Ah, oh, oh, Lacroix, what a reach! What a reach from Lacroix! What a wonderful piece of defending from uh, the relatively new signing. Oh bloody hell! He's gone out wide, and it's Kevin De Bruyne to swing this one in, and Martinez very calmly away, and Dodo as well. Camavinga, Musiala puts the nutmeg in, and Camavinga can't get there, and that's a ball through. Listen, I mean we're. We're defending well. A lot of it is quite last gasp. And I'm really messing up my decisions here. Laconga, that's good. Right, Eze. We might have to try and get a little bit more pass and move going here. Dodo. Camavinga. That's just about got through. Musiala. Laconga. Oh, it's, it's lovely. Musiala. Oh, that would have been a rubbish pass as well. He's got the ball through to Vlahovic again. Lacroix went to close him down. Vlahovic this time. He's not going to miss two of them. He was never going to miss two of them. He went for the stunning shot. Bottom corner. Put it in. And we're going to have to go a little bit more attacking. But this very strong team. In, it's a very nullifying shape for us. Because I love to play through the middle. Ilanga. Camavinga. Gomez. Ilanga. Musiala. That's a wonderful ball through to Ilanga. I've tried the stunning cross. Nunes. Oh, is it a corner? It's a corner. He's got Oliver Kahn in goal as well, which is a right pain in the ass. As uh, let's just see if we can give this one here to to Gomez. We'll go back to our boy Martinez, who's actually our centre back. So that's a little bit irritating. We need to change that up. But one nil down. We're defending all right. He's got such a strong team. I'm not too annoyed to be honest. Okay, half time. We've made a sub. We've brought on uh, Doku for his debut out on that right wing. He's going to replace Eze and uh, see what we can do. We need to track that run, please. That's an e that should be an easy tackle for Lacroix, and it is. And uh, Musiala holds on. Here is Doku. The first thing he can do. Oh my God, he's got the really good ball. He's got the sole. He's got the sole control ball roll, which is uh, double touch, which is very very useful. It's so much quicker. Oh, Lisandro <laughs> Martinez. We've had a couple of those sort of last ditch. Oh, that's a great ball. Oh my God, he's just got the movement. Maybe his Vlahovic isn't on a down arrow after all, but. He's, uh, he's playing well here and 2 0 down. The thing is, right, what I'm finding with eFootball 
is that I can be losing and still have a smile on my face, which I think is the sign of a good game. Ref, that's not a foul, is it? Okay. There's a... Uh, yeah, he was always going to cut back then. He's done a little bit of good footwork. He took too long going for the stunning cross. Lakonga. Kamavinga. Musiala. Doku. Just gives it back to Lakonga. I feel like we are lacking a runner from midfield as well, although he's, uh, he's very well pressured me there. And his De Bruyne could be in. Vlahovic. His Vlahovic is on a hat trick, and that should be easy for Lissandro Martinez. Right, Doku. Just yeah, there's no there's no runners in midfield. Having both of the midfielders as oh god, I'm, and I'm trying to force passes now. I just need to get back to patient build up. But having both Lakonga and Kamavinga as holding midfielders, I think is hindering the way I play a little bit. Let's see if we can just ping this one out left for now. We do find Anthony Langer, Sergio Gomez, Kamavinga, Lakonga, Musiala holds on to the ball well. Dodo. Musiala's going again. Oh, he read it. It was so obvious, that pass. Lissandro Martinez does well. Can't quite ping it up the line. And uh, this is the thing. I think he's taking his goals well. I feel like we may have gifted him a little bit. De Bruyne reaches really well to get that. That should be. Oh, my God. Why is the, the right back or left back, Sergio Gomez, not defended it? Lacroix back there doing well. Right, Musiala. Oh, he's... He's, he's, I'm telegraphing my passes a bit too much, I think. Making, I'm picking the, the obvious pass. And uh, that's a lovely goal. Well done, 3-0. But the key thing is, we never quit. Because we want the, uh, we want the XP for the players. That's the whole point, right? We want to we upgrade these players and show that under-24 players can be, can be good. LaCroix just sensible there. Got to go back to the keeper. Lafont out wide. Dodo in field to Musiala. That's a good pass. Like that, it's just uh, it's the obvious pass, isn't it? It's, the, it's the, the obvious one to do. De Bruyne into Abamyang, Vlahovic. Oh, he's done me there with a fake shot. It's a lovely go again. This guy's a good player. This guy's a good player. So we're going to uh, bring on Gravenberch for, uh, for his debut as well. We're actually going to put him back as a central midfielder just to see if he makes a few more forward runs than we've been having. Dodo, oh, again, just the obvious... It feels like this guy is playing a bit of a meta formation with the 4 2 2 2 2 all through the middle, but I guess if that's the squad he's built and he's done that very well, well done, Dodo. Well done, Dodo. There's no foul there, ref. It's all about, it's just, yeah, taking my time a little bit and trying to draw him out of the uh, of position. It'd be nice if we can get one goal, right? Gomez, good turn up the line, finds Alanga, puts that in field just out of the reach there of the defender. Musiala does well. Looks for Gravenberch. He picks it up. Gets his first real touch as a CLF. I'm calling a CLF United. I feel like that's a better name there. And again, it was the obvious pass, wasn't it? It was the obvious pass into Darwin Nunes, who's... I mean, you can't really blame him today. He's not really had any service, but... Come on, LaCroix. You could have got that, I think. Yeah, I feel like the 4 two, 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 two just gives him so many runners... It's very hard to pick them up. Oh, that's a that's a dodgy pass. Musiala, good have him, Birch. That's a lovely ball through. Doku, use your pace. Come on. Oh, he's offside. You know, it's a learning curve for me as well. We need to be coming up again. We're going to be coming up against more sweaty meta players the, the higher divisions we go, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, it's just about learning and understanding a bit more of the game and remembering to be patient. But uh, I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind these 3-0 losses uh, or 4-0 losses as it is now. Because I'm enjoying myself. It's a, it's a very good, fun game to play. It's so much... It feels so much better than FIFA, ref. That, okay, we'll play on. we got the ball. Camavinga. Musiala. Nunes. Camavinga again. Out it goes towards Ilanga. Trying to just trick my way forwards a little bit. Ilanga picks out. Musiala. Heavy touch on the ball, though. And that, that's the issue right now. Lissandro Martinez has got a cover. Gomez is there. Lacroix. Gravenberch up towards Nunes. We can go out towards Doko here. Gravenberch sees the run of Dodo. That's nice. This is nice. Dodo. So, oh, it's Doko trying to keep it alive. Musiala doesn't get up to win the header. Kamavinga chest and a shot. And it's a 4 0 loss, but it was good fun. Um, yeah, his 4 2 2 central formation baffled me a little bit but well played sir if you're if you're coming to watch this video well played uh, a 4-0 loss not the best in terms of um 
new signings and stuff. But it's under 24s, right? That's what it's for. It's going to be good fun. But uh, yeah, obviously Vlahovic is his man of the match. I'm interested to see what. Oh yeah, what was so? I mean, look at that. 70% through the middle for him, obviously. Yeah, very, very interesting. Very interesting. So yeah, I was very interested to see what sort of level points we get. So Elanga gets two, Kamavinga two, Lakonga two, Eze two. I see Eze got two just for playing a half. Lacroix gets two, Nunes gets two as well. That's what I mean. Keep playing these teams, keep a bit of the grind going, and see how good we can make this under-24 team. I'm quite excited by it. I am quite excited by it. But thank you so much for watching. We'll be back for another episode pretty soon. Uh, any players you want me to look at, maybe go and sign. Get them in the comments below. I'll go and look at them all. I really don't mind. And if I've missed anyone out from the last episode, apologies. Name them again, and I'll just keep refreshing it. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's such a fun game to play because FIFA just got very monotonous and boring. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.